Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. All gone. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. Man, so we got we got somebody that came in, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, this boy from the South, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? I'm, I'm talking about a real hustler. You know, all the real hustlers really in the South. Y'all yeah, y'all might well go and respect it. You know what I'm saying? Because we very well, real, we'll check it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Check it, man. My boy C. De Nero is in the building. What's going on, baby? What's going down? Yeah, he, he represent that bag runner, man. It's, it, hey, man, this boy here been running bags around. Y'all, y'all better get with it. Oh, man, got to know that. Say, so, hey, man, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. We just want to let the people educate the people on who you are, man. Hey, man, first and foremost, I'm C. De Nero. I'm from Law, Mississippi, Hard and Houston Road, to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is my uh, brand right here, Bag Runner Apparel. We've been up and running for about two years. Two years. Two How years. did the name Bag Runner came about? It came about from a song. I was doing music at one point in time, and my brother, D-Money, Mm-hmm. The act, he's actually from Marshall, Texas. Okay. But we met up in Georgia. Been mm-hmm. locked in ever since, and this was over 15 years ago. So I was still doing music about okay. two years ago. And uh, he sent me a beat, so had a song called Bag Running. And uh, at first, we was going to kind of use it as a little single. So I got my dog, Big Real, down there in Mississippi. He do graphic work. So uh, we, I said, uh, man, need like a little single cover or something like that. But then he sent me two designs. And uh, ended up choosing this one. But then when I got it, I said, you know what, man? This look good on a shirt. So my birthday was coming up. And uh, I wanted something to wear for my birthday. I said, I'm going to put this on a shirt. I said, uh, ain't nobody going to have this on. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody going to have this mm-hmm. on right here. So took a picture of it, posted it. People got to asking questions. So I said, you know, never really thought about selling clothes like mm-hmm. talking about. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, this might work. This might work. We pressed up 10 of them, and I ain't looked back since. Wow. Were you a person that loved to dress before then? Oh, yeah. So fashion was already in your blood. Shout out to my grandma. She always kept her fresh in school. Wow. Okay, and you know, looking at his logo, do you, don't you agree? To me, it reminds me of something on the Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, man. It actually is, but for me to get my paperwork right on it, I had to change three uh, characteristics on it. Oh, Which was really? what? So we added the tennis shoes to him. Okay. We added the scarf. And we had added the hat, the baseball cap to him. Oh, okay. Because really? that's the thing. Because I, I was just looking at him like, why that look like the guy in the Monopoly? Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. him. Yeah, okay, man. That definitely a definitely a nice logo, bro. Thanks. So, you know, hustling in, in, in the street, man, you know, doing everything that you done done, man. Um, how many units would you say you done sold so far? Man, yeah, two, nigga. Let's think two about years. it. Yeah, two years. Two years. Probably about over, over well over a thousand. Well over a thousand. That's just off the streets, out yeah. the trunk. Yeah, yeah. And see, uh, like, in the beginning, I was just hustling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just hustling just to make some extra money because I had some other things going on, Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just, you know, people started taking to it because, like, where I'm from, it's real hard to break something, especially when it's something positive. Yeah. It's hard to break something and uh, have people take on to it but man when they took on to it they just won't let it go look like the pop-up scene been positive for you man the pop-up scene down there in mississippi i gotta i got to give a shout out to them ladies down there bougie obsession uh j and j enterprises man they put it together them the all j and j enterprise and what was that first one uh bougie obsession bougie obsession shout out, shout out to bougie obsession man what up girls yeah but uh them ladies down there they they've been putting it together and uh shout out to plush barbie they put me in my very first pop-up shop plush barbers mm, plush, okay. plush barbie oh plush barbie yes man okay got it but, plush uh, barbie but like when i first got the it, I was seeing people because it, it was different from hustling on the streets. It was like you know they was dressing kind of different, kind of stylish. Looked like they wasn't even from Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm coming in there with this urban wear. I'm like, man, they might not be feeling me. I'm telling my wife because you know she usually go to a lot of them with me. Yeah. So I'm telling her like, baby, I don't think they gonna be feeling me like talking about. And uh, she was like, it's all good, you know, just just relax. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting at the table. Then this thing, I know, man, people start coming through. Yeah. They start asking. 
Yeah. And then, man, we ended up kind of selling out. We did pretty good, made a couple hundred. Okay, but after that, I just became a sensation at them. You know what I'm saying? Because Began orders in. Man, because when I go to them, I turn up. It's a party when I go. Is it men and women clothing you sell? Yes, ma'am. So it's only T-shirts or do you sell other apparel? At first, it was just T-shirts, but for the ladies... We uh we I started some doing, shorts. Yeah, we started doing shorts like the biker shorts, uh the little lounge booty shorts, and then uh now I got some new leggings like with that texture on it that they wearing nowadays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh couple dudes like I do some track pants, but like I, I a lot of the men stuff I just do it because you know it's two years in I'm still in that trial and error stage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still still in the lab experimenting. I like it. And man. then but we was leaning closer toward the lady because niggas yeah, don't want to spend no it, money. Cause that's what it's I ain't like, agreeing with that. That's nigga, this out most of the men, nigga. It's all about how you how hey, you bring it, man. It's hey. like every everybody got a, a way that they do sales, right? Mm -hmm. So so if you if you target a certain market, it's the energy you bring. Right. It's really not the individuals. It's all about what come from here. Right. So at the end of the day, I, I heard what you said, but I mm. just begged to differ because hey. these niggas got that money. You man. know what? Let yeah. me let me rephrase that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rephrase, the, re, re, the, recant the, the You know, let me recant. <laughs> the real ones, they with it. Yeah, yeah. The real ones, the real brothers, they with it. Now you got some of these. They want. They they looking. They inquiring. They want to get in, but you know that. Okay, it's 20. Man, well, I got 10, 15. You know how it is. You yeah, know they're going to try yeah. it. I mean, but, you know, that, that, that's, that's, like, that's a part of it, it though, because hey. you're, supposed, you're supposed to know what's going hey. on in the streets. By, by, I deal with people. I mean, you know me. I'm out to Trump, baby. Oh, yeah. Look, don't play. I, my record is 35,000 in three days, man. Oh, man. Yeah, let's go, nigga. Hey, <laughs> them numbers. Yeah, but all I'm saying is, but those records came from, well, I say three days. I say that first week, a week before Christmas. So I, I, I right. always say three days because it pr primarily just getting the money, dealing with different stores, putting it in different, because I had stores too, but mm -hmm. I was out the trunk and did this. Right. The thing I can tell you, we started. And it depends on the time of the year. Depends right on the time Christmas, of the so year. People exactly. People were buying. Yeah. So, so that's a part of it. You mm -hmm. know, you got to know how to hit them. But then that right there, you basically build it up to that. It don't just happen to where you just go out there and sell that right. much. You building clientele the whole year. You out pushing. You you are talking to people. People know you coming through. Uh, all the dope boys, they stand at the at the trap. You know what I'm saying? So the thing I can say is they just need somebody to, uh, all they need somebody to do is is, is basically uh, 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 show up. They don't want to leave no way. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that was back a long time ago. Yeah. But anyway, it's just, it, it's something else when you, when you, when you get out there and grind and you meet your customers yeah. and you know your customers and you got to build yeah. merch up to meet your customers. Yeah. Ain't, nothing, ain't needs. nothing like hands on, man. Yeah. Cause I'm yeah. going to tell you, um, like we go back to the numbers when I was talking about how much I moved in. Yeah. But see back then, I wasn't really keeping up too much with it because, like I said, I was hustling. Mm -hmm. Before I threw the LLC on there, but when I after I did that, I really got more business, man. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got that notebook, man, started keeping up with what was coming in, what's going out by the colors, sizes, and everything. So yeah. it's done turned to a real job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to keep up with your numbers so you know what's selling, so you know what you need to replenish, you need to know how you need to go back to the drawing board. To be able to get certain information, Absolutely. you know, back to your customers and be able to, what is it, supply and demand? Because yes, with you do, just doing shirts and certain outfits, you have to know that, okay, if a person always buying from you every week, you want to keep those core customers right. happy. But you, can, you don't want to keep giving them the same thing over and over because they won't want to buy it. You mm -hmm. have to be able to switch it up for them. Yeah. So how can you satisfy those customers but yet appeal to the newer clientele? Because right. you can't always keep just getting new clientele. You have to make the, mm -hmm. the ones who are loyal stay loyal. And you know what? And I got some of the most loyalists. One since day one, since I've been starting out on this, man, they probably got the old ones when we was doing them with the cricket vinyl, man. S salute y'all. Man, shout out them boys that stay loyal. Like, we've been here 14 years, mm -hmm. and we got people that been coming here for 14 years. Man. That's when you that's when you know you're a good business yeah, person. That's a blessing. The people that been coming, they started coming 14 years ago. They kids come here now. Man. This is when you focused you know what i mean and you're not trying to get over on people and you're doing good business you're giving people a good product so when people come here they don't know oh it's a clothing store as well it, yeah. it kind of free it'll trip you out if you ain't ready for it everybody that we've had come in be like man dang it's a store but the thing is you got to get it like this man you know uh it's all business and and oh, the yeah. thing i could tell you is we just happy to have you you come up from Mississippi. Man, I you know, hey, wait a minute. You come on Boss Talk 101, man. 
Boss Talk 101. You here? I'm you're, happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you come up from Mississippi to be on Boss Talk 101. Mm. That boy Archivius came from North Carolina, North Carolina last weekend, and the dude uh, Fleetwood came through here from uh, Oakland, Oakland last Sunday. Like these people are really coming through and filling the station, filling the filling the vibe of what we got going on in this podcast, right. man. And we can't do nothing. That's just but dope, bro. But you know bro. what? It says a lot about us, but it says a lot about you. It says a what, lot about you and what you think about how you feel about your grind because not your grind. everybody is willing to get up and make that move they're like man that's far yeah and, you know come up with excuses that's that that's we are the ones who put ourselves down in any venture we go off, go after because like man that's too far man i can't be, i can't be bothered man you know we talk ourselves out of it people will say that other people talk us down but really yeah. nobody can talk you down you talk yourself down and yeah. out of a lot of things you yeah. know what i mean yep. and then i'm just like this man opportunities like this don't come too far right. because man that day i got the phone call it was just a series of just bad luck <laughs> that day and uh like next thing i know i see this number because this cat here i always switching up yeah numbers yeah yeah, on. yeah. I said, Texas. I said, man, I said, this probably a damn telemarketer or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> telemarketer had them cell phone numbers now. Yeah. But uh, uh, when I got a chance to talk to y'all, I looked at my cousin. I said, man, you know what? We going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. going. Ain't, ain't nothing. I said, I don't care if I got to get a, take a bus to get out here, man. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to be on Boss Talk. Boss Talk. On yes, sir. Better believe it. And the thing I could say is, man, the most most important thing is, is that you you basically respect what you're doing. And like you said earlier, you turned it into a business. I heard you when you said, I got my LLC, and I, you know what I'm saying? I got my whole situation set up so that my taxes, everything will be right. Mm -hmm. You know, I treated it as a business. You respected it as a business, so therefore that respect in turn is going to come back to you and through the people that you're working with. Right. So that's the whole game. Like, the more, you know, you got to give respect in order to get respect, mm -hmm. even through your business. And a lot of people don't get that part. Right. They're out here just trying to do something, you know. Right. They ain't going to take the next step to go get that LLC, mm -hmm. that DBA, to try to set up that, you know, mm -hmm. situation. You know, I started out of a, a truck, you know, and a, a situation where one of my partners had a store. He was closing down, and he gave me – he had a, a box of cloths. I was like, say, hey, man, why don't you uh, – why you didn't sell me this, though? <laughs> and uh, he was like – this is a bad location. You don't want this location. It was out at Big T Bazaar, one of our main little old bazaars out here. Right. And I, I was helping him move out of that store. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, uh, I said, man, well, how much you want for these clothes? Because he couldn't put them nowhere in the other store. He had another spot too. He was like, man, just give me 200 for that box. And I didn't even know what was in the box. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I got it. And then he was, I said, how much for that? He said, 200 more, I'll give him $400. You remember that? And I ended up flipping it for, from 400 to 4000 mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Taking it and going to the streets. And, and, and that's when it started for me. I figured out that day, this is what I need to be doing. Because I always were hustling. Right. So I like to flip anyway. Right. So when I flipped that, and it, I was like, yeah, this is it right here. So I knew right then that it wasn't no turning back for me. Man, when the, street, when the streets along Mississippi embraced it the way they did, I knew right then I was working with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew right then I was mm -hmm. working with something. Yeah, and that's why I chose you to be on Boss Talk 101 because I see a lot of me in you. I see a lot of me in Johnny Light Show. I, I know where I came from, what I done. And so that for that reason, that's why I'm linking everybody up. I also got a partner, shout out DMAP, who did uh, uh, 8732 for a Jeezy. He designed it. Right. He also designed uh, Jewel House for a little Boosie. Okay. And uh, me and him, we rock out. He just hit me back yesterday. He mm -hmm. just did a... a presentation where he was educating people on, on on designs and clothing brands and he had a, a brand called convertible Burt. shout out convertible Burt. that was <laughs> one of his first brands before you know that was his personal, his brand. personal brand and and we we loved it you know what i mean we we supported it it was it here was about old school cars and stuff it was like about that, you know, old school cars, love cars now. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, oh, yeah. you talk about the mason dixon line and yeah, all kind of right, stuff right. and we 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 supported him and 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 you build relationships like that. Right. And and so I'm linking something together where I panel of people and I make them bring you in virtual on the Zoom to where you can be a part of that, to where it's going to be a couple of dudes sitting here. He's going to be on the screen. I may call get you to call in so y'all can get some game on what he, how he came from, what he came from. And he's been in the game for 
over 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So, and he working with, he's still right now predominantly in the eye of the entertainers to where they respect him in the market of design. Man, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you can get some more jewels, some more gems, something that can pretty much touch you to where you can grow some more. Man, I ain't ain't nothing but a sponge. I soak it all up. Yeah, yeah. He down in Atlanta too. Okay. Yeah, he in Atlanta. Shout out D-Map, man. Love that dude, man. So he's going to do that. We already talked about it. We was just trying to set it up after the All-Star weekend. So that's why we was at so, with it. Let me ask you, um, you print your own shirts, right? Yes, ma'am. What would you say? Because right now, a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are printing shirts, trying to sell shirts and stuff like that. What makes you different from everybody else who's doing the same thing? Because I'm willing to do what I'm doing now. The leg work. Wow. Because Good it's, answer. Mo- it's more than a T-shirt. I say this is the experience. Because a lot of people, that design, this is the original. I have like three or four other designs that's floating too. Uh, but this right here, this is what we started out with. Mm-hmm. And a lot of older people, they didn't get it because they seen the man with the scarf, on, the his scarf on his face. And uh, they was like, well, is he doing something wrong? Is he robbing still? And I was like, no, ma'am, no, sir. The reason for that, how I took it, because you see a lot of people, especially with social media, they get on there talking about, man, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, really looking for validation for people who don't really care. You know, it don't mean nothing. But my whole thing was we go get the money and we ain't gonna talk about none of our moves until they are already made. I'm I'm I discipline myself on that. Yeah. I, I, I speak it into existing in my mind, but when it's made, that's when I bring it out. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? And the words bag runner, we ain't chasing out there. We control the wealth. We make the bag go up, we make it go down, we make it stay the same. We control it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we let money control us. I like what you're saying. Um, and I would have never gotten that from just see, looking at the logo. Mm-hmm. I love your perspective on that. And my, what I think you should do with just what you said, pick little bits and pieces of quotes and maybe even put that on the back just to show the positivity. Right. Because I can see where somebody looking at that logo and say, oh, he robbing a bank or right. he whatever. Like, why am I supposed to support that mm-hmm. when that's, you know, negative or something like but that? But you know what? Like, at the pop-up shops, a lot of people, they ask me, you know, they what it mean. And see, let me tell you, now, this came out in 2019, before the pandemic. Fast forward, 2020, 2021. Everybody we wearing masks. We still got to get money, but what we got to do it with? Wearing, wearing masks. masks. So it was already yeah, ahead of his yeah, time. Yeah, so wow. I, but, I, but I like the meaning what you have behind it. Even right. if you have to put up printed, because some people put those little printed cards that mm-hmm. when you buy it, you actually get that with it, so you're telling them what it right. really stands for. You right. know, there's something like I, that. Our slogan is rock what represents you. Like whenever I hand out my business cards, uh, it has that big slogan written in bold black letters. Rock? On they call rock what represents you. And what does that mean? It means like, hey, I'm all about getting me some money. I'm all about running me a bag. So, you know what I'm saying? Rock will represent you. If that's what it is, then you need this shirt on. Yeah. Because I'm selling you more than the shirt. I'm selling you the experience. Yeah. Because we getting up out of that broke talking, that broke thinking, that broke living. You know what I'm saying? Everything positive and everything is trying to accumulate wealth. And whatever it is you're doing, it don't matter if you're working at McDonald's or you a big real estate guru or whatever. This for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This for the ones, the everyday people who trying to get it. Yeah. Because I'm one of them people, and I, I always keep them in mind because yeah. they keep me going. Wow. And one more thing, um, where it's quality is concerned, because I see a lot of people who start off printing shirts, mm-hmm. and those vinyls don't stay on real good. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how does yours stand up to that? Okay, what we ended up doing, we was using that Cricket vinyl. Shout out to Jay Ward at Lab Sway because they – they put me in the game with my first prints. And they still do a little stuff for me, some full color things that I might not be able to do. But um, for a while, I got in touch with one of my partners, and he was uh, telling me about this place, FM Expressions, all these heat transfer places. So we started using them. We got a sample pack from them. And then, hey, we put it on there. Oh, and so it, you use somebody else to print your stuff? Mm-mm, you don't- mm-mm. I printed myself, but see, my logo's already be cut out. I just order my sheets. I just tell them what color I want. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of time I've been chopping with them so much, I just hit a button. And then when it get to the crib, I already had a shirts, you know, however, however. And then I just throw them on that heat press, make sure they on there good. Hey, sometimes we wash them. And then, like, I know I got some still from last year with this same style on that that's done stood, and it don't come on. done stood the test of time. So you're saying that the cricket, because a lot of people do go by that cricket. So you said that that's no mm-hmm. good. But see, a lot of people, they don't use that heat press. A lot of them use that iron-on iron. press. 
And that's not good. But see, the only reason that they do that, because that's people for, like, who's doing other shirts. See, I don't make shirts for nobody else. I just kind of cut the middleman on out on my operation. So I was like, shoot, if I go ahead and get the equipment, you know what I mean? Hey, I can, you know, save a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you did it right. And then plus, you know, getting into that, we sending it out of state, sending it out of town, it make my turnaround time quicker. Yeah, yeah. You're that's doing true. it right. You're mm-hmm. doing it right. That's that's what, what you should be doing. Anything to save yourself some money and be able to save your customers some money. Right. You want to do it to where it can be affordable. I mean, respect it. You know what I mean? And and also to where everybody can feel good about the situation. Yeah, I think that's important. I feel good when I sell somebody something that I know I feel good that I bought it and it's a good product. And here, this is yours now. And then you, and then you want to make them feel good yeah. by spending their money. Yeah, that's right. And sometimes you can't do everything you, yourself. So just like how you said you had to get somebody else to print your logo mm-hmm. and then you just pick up the vinyl. Mm-hmm. But some, like in my mind, I'm like, okay, how can I do that? So I can cut that person out of the picture too. Right. So I can just do everything myself. I don't have to wait on that person to give me the stuff right. to do it. Right. You know because I mean? you know, because because people still have a personal lives too. Things come up. Right. Sometimes equipment go out. You know, it's man made, so you know it ain't gonna last forever. Exactly. So, so what's what's up with the uh, um, uh, um, other uh, people down there? Is it, is it some other other brands down there? Is like the big stores down there? How do you how do you how do you keep it going? I mean, you. Are you you got other What's bro- up down there? What part of Mississippi this here? I'm from Law, Mississippi. Law, Mississippi. Shout out Law, Mississippi, man. Already, baby, LA. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, man. You got you got a lot of people down there just doing their thing. You got uh FEMA clothing. Okay. Uh, that's a young cat down there. You got Big Stepper clothing. You got right. uh YB Broke down there in Hattiesburg. And um who else is it, man? It's somebody else. Do y'all I'm, work together? Nah, no, we don't really get. We you, acknowledge each other. Y'all it's respect respectful. each other. That's y'all right. Respectful. That's right. But um, you know, we don't get chance to really do nothing. Everybody has their own lane, what they doing. So you know, shout out them guys, man. Wish them guys nothing but yeah, the best. Yeah, that's no, good. no, that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's love. You know, respect, and, and it goes a long ways in this game. Y'all that's gotta come everybody. on with it. They yeah, know about yeah, y'all yeah. on Boss Talk One yeah, on One yeah, now, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 Texas yeah, now. yeah, yeah. The shout out was real. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so so the thing I could say is, man, with the vibe down there, do y'all feel like y'all get more of a Texas feel vibe, or do y'all go back toward the Atlanta feel vibe? Man, we were raised on Texas, man. Really? We were raised on Texas. Uh, okay. I'm third. I'm third to sell. I know I was on Texas. UGK look good. Hey, Dallas music, all kind of Houston music, really? man. That what y'all hey. came with? You know, you saying the same big thing Big Crit said. He said the same thing. Yeah. Big Chris said he he was out, he, that Houston wave got him. Man, let me tell you. Shout something. out Big Crit. Where you at, Mississippi? Hey, Crit, you need to get at me, man. <laughs> Put you on these bad runs. But Already. Uh, but what, the part of Mississippi he's from up there in Meridian? Yeah. That was like a baby Houston at one time. Really? Man, you had boys up there riding number Buicks on swingers and everything at one oh, point really? time. That's all they were going to do is make sure they they yeah. rock rock out with them swingers. Yeah, man. Man, we love Texas. Because let me tell you something, man. Everybody I know from Mississippi that's done moved out here, they only come back home to visit. Wow. I'm talking about you, and you talking about some cats that probably, you know, didn't have a lot going on. But yeah. then they came out here. And got it popping. And they got it together. So so this your first time in Dallas? First time in so Dallas. So what, what you do no, when you was here? Yeah, really? yeah, he came for Boss Talk 101, first wow. time in Dallas. <laughs> Shout out to that nigga C. De Nero. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that nigga here now. Yeah, you man. niggas better get out the way, welcome, nigga. He welcome. here. Yeah. So, so what did you do? Man. You was here last night? Yeah, I was here last night. Uh, man, we just... We like I said, we stopped down there in the country, did a little visiting. Yeah. And um so we ended up coming up here. Uh we settled got into a room, settled in, went went out, got something to eat, had a couple of drinks. You know, we ain't wanna just overdo it and be out all night long yeah. and stuff like that. Because like I said, when we on this road, we gotta move cautious. Don't matter where you go. You know yeah, yeah. No, the thing I say, man, is you 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 guys are, are, are We turning up tonight though. <laughs> oh yeah, what was oh I ain't no telling where y'all go. I can't hey, hang with you young niggas, man. Y'all oh, not taking man. me, man. I can't do it with you, nigga. I done got old now. I, I'm at the I'm at the let I'm at the pass. Hey, I here. can tell you where to go. I can even put you on with the DJ, nigga, hey, but I cannot be there now, with you. Now you, you know, know what? what? Now I don't do nightclubs, but a nice little sports bar, something like that. Now that's my I'll flow rock right out there. with you in that. That's, now that's that, me that, right there. Now, now that's my you're flow. talking. Your boy gonna pull that's, up. Yeah. That's Escalade gonna pull up, nigga, be in the white. What's up, nigga? You know what I'm talking about? But if you getting out there late tonight and I've got to bump into it for a couple of people, and and they know me, and I, I, that, that was cool at first. But yeah. after ten years, after twelve years, what a nigga gonna do? You gonna keep going out there, Man. and you know what I'm saying? 
unless in this event that we pushing something on, you won't see me out there. No, man. It got to be business for me now. Yeah. That, and I guess that's because that comes with, with wisdom. You know what I mean? And, that, and, and you know, back at home, that's how I move because I have a plumbing business too. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Oh, you's a straight up entrepreneur. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you entrepreneur? Hey, they ain't giving out no handouts. So, my so way. You how, got did, to go how, did, how did you get into that? Um, I always did apartment maintenance, and about like 2011, I was looking for a job. I knew a little bit about plumbing, but not too much. So I ended up working for a, a plumbing company, and uh, I seen you know they taught me the tricks of the trade, and then like I started seeing how much money I was bringing them in. And then what I was leaving with at the end of the week. So I was like, shoot, <laughs> the machines I was hauling on that van, I started looking up how much they cost. Hey, I already knew the work for doing it for them. So you went ahead and bought those machines? I bought the machine. Awesome. Hey, came up with a name, Lindsay's Drain Service, put that LLC wow. behind it. Got me some business card. Did a lot of old school promotion. I used to just pull up anywhere. So how can you, I, can how I leave my car take, here? How long did yes. it take you to learn the business? You don't never stop learning. No, I'm talking with the company before you decided to leave them and create your own. Mm, I say probably about probably about a year or two. But, you know, we still in good relationships because That's I good. always call them and get advice about certain things. That's good because some people be mad to know that you left and created yeah. our own company in that same yeah. field. Nah, they you know were, what man, I mean? Uh, they were very supportive because they had to think about it. They had to start somewhere, too. That's good. You know what I mean? So how long you been doing it now? Uh, I've been doing it now for, for yourself. For myself, probably about five years. That's long. That's good. And you know, and you know what? Out of five years, we've been doing good work on and off. But now, it's really booming. I'm talking about every day. I'm talking. About, I've been getting calls since I've been up here. How many people you got working for you? Just me. Just, Just you. Just you. My cousin Reggie helped me out sometimes, but uh, he works too. So you know, he'll help me out on some big stuff. But the whole time I was running with them. I was running a van by myself, and we were servicing seven different counties. And so, you know, I was used to, you know, going mm-hmm. through them hard jobs and the messed up jobs that had you scratching your head by yourself. So it's, now it's just a natural thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You brought me a shirt or something, dude. Oh, yeah, man. I but, brought, hey, but, but did you bring any smalls? Yeah, I got some smalls for you. Man, I got a trunk. I got some stuff in the well, trunk out there. You no, always got, have merchandise with you. I'm I trying to get this always. young nigga to pull up, man. I got to. Here you go, E. Yeah, yeah, this nigga got presents, what you size, nigga. What size did you get him, okay? And what size did you get me? You wanted that medium, then. Or a small. Or a small. Hey, but it don't matter. Hey, look at Okay, but let me ask you a but question. But I do got some out there. I do got some out there. Is this a woman medium? Or is this it's a unisex. Mix? Unisex. Unisex. U- unisex, I do a small. Okay, well, we'll switch it out. I got some stuff. I got okay, some okay. in the backpack. I got some in the trunk. Okay, because... I know a lot of people do unisex sizes because it's easier rather than have mm-hmm. some for women and have some for men. So, right. you know, it depends on the woman you're dealing with. The younger girls love the female cut because mm-hmm. they want to show up everything. The right. older we get, we don't want the female cut right. as much. We want a straight. You know, like I say, and then with the women's stuff, a lot of my stuff I make is not really too revealing because, like mm-hmm. I say, it's on the go stuff. Right. Like when you want to go to the grocery store or something like that, or you can wear that to, you know, however you want to do it, wherever you want to rock it at. But you're going to good, look good wherever you're at you with you. But you're lucky the way how fashion has evolved or changed right now because, and I think it happened mainly because of the pan- pandemic, mm-hmm. women are more dealing with more of loungewear. Right. This whole pandemic because what they were doing, staying home, chilling. Yes, ma'am. So loungewear have kicked off. Exactly. When I mean T-shirts and those little booty shorts or just something from just chill at home. Right. That's really what a lot of women were going for right. now. Wow. Yeah, man, thank you for the shirt, man. You man. see the shirt. Y'all see this boy, he come through blessing us with the bag runner merch. Exactly. He black, you know what I'm saying? He not playing. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with this guy, man. See the narrow bag run in the building. You guys, hey, you see, he came through. Matter of fact, my and other little partner. The yellow and black what's the too. other the other little cat? The the, the other H B brought us some uh-huh. shirts we supposed to wear when he dropped his album. Right. Well, I don't even know. Did he drop H B did He's you drop not yet? Yeah, it's on the sixteenth. Okay, but we rocking out them shirts, I man. We're we gonna rock out for you one day too. Already. You know what I'm saying? Just to give you a special shout out for coming right. on the show that's man, what we I doing man every time it. we can do something to push the brand you know i got a uh I, I just hit a couple of cats up you if i get this to happen you will you'll love me to death hey, i got some niggas right now that if i can get them to put that merch on boy it's gonna hey, do now, numbers now, for you now let me tell you, know you let me tell you now before you see it for yourself it's already a few floating around in dallas now yeah let yeah, me, yeah now let me tell you mm-hmm. i've been here since yesterday so you know i've hey. oh you've been on it yeah been that's awesome. why you on bus boss talk one-on-one <laughs> you're awesome like that's the only way it's gonna go down. 
Already. You gotta be, you gotta be on here. You gotta be a hustler to be on here. Hey. You gotta be done done something. Hey. No, but anywhere he <laughs> so, go, he needs to leave his mark, and he's trying to leave his mark. And on I Dallas, like it because I used to Thank do the same thing, man. I, didn't I do it? Yes, you did. I'm all up in New York with that madness. All up in Houston and Harlem Nights with that madness. Oh yeah, June the third, I'll be in uh, Houston, Texas. I got a pop up shop. I'm a part of. Out Already, there. see that's what we're awesome. talking about. Now you, I just you get, left. I just you, left. You uh, no Fort, game. I just left Fort Walton Beach, Florida, a week before last. They loving it down there. Wow. They asked me, say, man, when you come. Back. Do you have a website that people can reach uh, out? Oh, right now on? we building our Shopify store, so yeah. we should be launching it this week. Wow! Okay. But as far as right now, Instagram and Facebook, and, and like what, I said, what is your Instagram and your Facebook? Uh, page? at Bag Runner Apparel, okay. and uh, Bag Runner Apparel um, on Facebook as well. Okay. Wow! Yeah, man, I like your moves. I like the way you're getting down. I appreciate with it, that. Real talk, man. I, I like I said, I wanted to bring that boy uh uh Johnny Light Show in. Come wow. up for a little bit, Johnny. Let, let, let's talk about it. Bring that chair up here, man. Yeah, Pull up that chair right there. Oh, these man. niggas in Dallas together, nigga. Baby, you can't go out <laughs> nowhere tonight. All nah, these niggas is here. <laughs> no, nah, we can't have uh uh no up, but these niggas is here, buddy. These niggas got goals in their mouth. You know what I'm talking about? These niggas got goals in their mouth, baby. Chains on they look like money. No son. No, nah, bro. That's it. No, nah, baby. We're gonna stay at the house tonight. <laughs> Ain't no going around in Dallas, nah, man. Boy. We too play for the nigga, trouble Look now. at these niggas, boy. These niggas <laughs> play oh, man, bad the news now. niggas right here, boy. You know when a nigga got bad news on their mind. Look at them, boy. These nah. niggas smiling too much, baby. <laughs> yeah, these niggas smiling, goals in their mouth. <laughs> but these girls, hey, they going to be in trouble. He got to be good. He got an old lady. It don't matter. That yeah, nigga too. Yeah, they both got an old lady. I don't trust these niggas. Yeah, hey, no. She ain't finna come out the way to Dallas and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Might, might have an insurance policy. Bad. Wrote a policy, dude. Hey, man. So, so how did you guys link up? You being from down in East Texas, you being from Mississippi, you brought this cat to me. Uh, I'm just trying to see how did what, how did that happen? You want to tell him? So you gonna tell him, man? Go ahead. I you, think you. I feel like you're a better speaker than me. Man, come on, man. Yeah, nah, man. Nah, nah, y'all both go going ahead, in. Go ahead, go ahead. Man, look. Like I said, I was doing music, and uh, so I met him through. Uh, DJ Los. DJ Los down there in Marsh. And uh, how I met Los was through another partner, man. Shout out down DJ down. Los. Hey, so me and Los, we talking, I gave, lit, sent Los some music. He was like, man, you need to hook up with Janet Light Show. And I was like, Light Show? I'm like, what the kind of name is that? Toy Story or something? But then, like, when he said, man, y'all on the same type vibe. And so when I met, bro, it's just been love ever since. Like, wow. Like, man, we, we talked about music. You know, we was comparing a lot of notes. He was giving me game way back then. But then one day we were talking. He said, man, I'm finna get it mute stuff up. And he said, I'm finna kind of slow down on it. I ain't finna just, you know, really do it. He said, man, I got these clothes going. Wow. And then when I started seeing it, I was, you know, sharing this stuff. Recording. I was like, man, that's tight. And so around, like a little bit later, that's when Bad Runner kind of came around. And I was telling him about it. And he was like giving me a lot of game. I'm like, man, you need to do this. Go for it. Do this, do that. And then, like, conversation stayed consistent. You know what I'm saying? The support stayed consistent and the game stayed consistent. You know what I'm saying? What made you what made you uh stay interested, uh, Johnny Light Show, in uh in this young man, C De Nero? How did what made you stay linked in with him like you did after the music like that? Like when we when we talked on the phone, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that right there, it was like we thought of like yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like, man, I just felt a, a good, genuine vibe with him. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, and, and so I like, yeah, I, I, I want to, you know what I'm saying. Like, I want, I want, I want to mess with this dude right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like for real. And we ain't this our first time meeting in person. We've been, person. you know what I'm saying like, yeah, for just real. On, ain't it something? Was it online? Just, it was all online you know in a phone call. And we've been, and, and we been yeah. chopping it up for like two years. I feel like I've been knowing him all my life. Yeah. Like for real. Though. Yeah, because <laughs> y'all just stayed consistent. Yeah. Both of y'all were grinding. You were grinding on the clothes with the mask clothing yeah. brand. Yeah. You was grinding with Bag Runner. Mm -hmm. See, see, that's what I like, man. I like the fact of how y'all both basically been consistently because you've been in the clothes a lot longer. Like six years. Six years. Yeah. You came in two years two ago, years ago. Right. and you've been. Consistent consistent right. man that's something else bro that's something to be proud of bro to come into something to open to create and not only to that, create a brand and mm -hmm. not only that be in the same field but still be able to support each other give yeah. each other that's hints love. and clues that's what, and you yeah know, black man, people can do that man, because it, it, they make it seem like it's impossible yeah it, yeah, yeah it, black it, people can do that it's something man when you when you got somebody who just want to genuinely see you win yeah you got to take that in right then wow wow that's, that's good stuff right there that's good stuff, man. Like I said, 
the thing I, I see about you guys, man, is that both of y'all grind hard. You know, I call this young man. He, man, he, I got to get these clothes out, man. I got two minutes. I got to get these out. I can't, I can't come today, but I'm going to come. I'm gonna, hey, let me call you back. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's a hustle. Same thing with you. You like, man, I got this pop up, man. I'm doing this. And that's what I like. Man, See, was I'm a, he was detailing the truck when I pulled up on him yesterday. <laughs> Look, but he he done called and checked up on man. I appreciate it, bro. For nah, real. And, I, and I appreciate I love him, boy. that's and love, bro. Everything you done done to me, man. I'm gonna give you your man. flowers while you're in my face. Wow, that's you know it. That's saying? it, bro. That's real it. So up. many people don't do that, and that's what we about. Boss talk is about being real. What bosses link up to talk. You see what I'm saying? We got some bosses at this table. Right. People who done started something on their own, you know, on their own pretense, say, you know what, I'm going to come up with something that I can be a servant, help people, you know, pick cotton. Yeah. Y'all but ain't ready only, for but me. Not, but not only that, like, when you can be genuine and true, God will bless you in so many wow. different ways. Because what Here is meant for you will be for you. you Here know? we go. Yeah, like, yeah. Why, why be rotten to somebody else or be in false pretense, just yeah. acting like you trying to help somebody, yeah. but behind their back, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's a lot of those type of people out there, but... You just have to keep pressing, keep, Gotta keep motivated, press. and keep in a positive attitude Gotta at keep all positive. times because no matter what in life, I always I remember somebody telling me it could have been worse. Yeah. No matter what you go through, it could have been worse. Could have been worse, man. So you just it's a blessed situation, man, to uh be able to link up with brothers that's that's really like I said, your boy's clean, your shoes clean, your shirts clean, <laughs> running around here with your own brand on. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas going to, to the mall to buy their brand. You niggas consistently making your own brand, representing right, looking good in your brand. Appreciate you're a model. Not only you're a model, you're a hustler, you're a servant, all that stuff, man, and that's a blessing, bro. Like I said, I commend both of y'all for being able to lock in and in and, and the brotherhood. For for the for the last how many years y'all been two knowing years, each other? Two years. Yeah. Two years. It's been two, locked two up. Two years and some change. Two yeah. years and some change. You see what I'm saying? And and so that's that's a blessing. I like seeing stuff like mm -hmm. this. That's why you're here. To yeah. be honest with you, because I like to I see me and you. I I was the same way. You know what I mean? Um, I started off. Uh, you know, in the streets, for sure. You know how I did it. You know what I'm saying? I flipped it over. Okay, now we finna sell these clothes. And that's how it went down. And, man, you know what? And I really think that's a that's a real big thing from Texas cats, man. Because, like I said, shout out my brother, D-Money. Okay. Um, D-Money, shout out, baby. Man, we met in Georgia. Like okay. I said, still on that music stuff. But, man, me and that guy right there done been through so much together. Mm -hmm. And, man, we've been rocking about 15 years wow, strong. Wow, wow. 15 years strong. His... His mama like my mama. His daddy like my daddy. What I told you yesterday when I, I said, man, I got to go down here tomorrow to go check on Pop real quick. Wow. Mm. You know That's what I'm saying? That's what's popping, bro. And we pull right up. That's what's popping. You know what I'm saying? That's what it got to be. Yeah. They took me to Marshall, man, years ago. When I stomped down in Marshall years ago, they embraced me. And wow. I appreciate it. That's what's up. That's real. That's love. Yeah. Real love. Um, what else you got for these young brothers? You know, <laughs> what, you drew a blank? <laughs> you done drew a blank? At the moment. Well, I ain't draw no blank. I talk all day. This is what I do, oh, yeah. man. I got something to say. What's up? My boy going to come down. He's going to come get me from Texas to take me some, on some of them jobs down there. So we might have, have a little old, uh, uh, not a little old, but a big old Lindsay Drain service in, uh, and old in these Texas, man. Special man. Special you know hey, what I'm man. Hey, man, up. what you say? Move like a work. Move, like, move a, like a boss off field be a worker. Like what I'm talking already, about. Already, man. What you say? You got a cross market. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you know a cross market, man. That's that's Everybody popping. Get that together for real, man. Yes, sir. You know that joint service is real, though. Well, we can get some more stuff together. You know what, man? It ain't nothing. You know, this here gets you locked up. You know, yeah. they call this, you know, they if you do it and it's illegal, three, two, three people, you know, but when it's legal, it's yeah, good. It's legal. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but it, it, it got to be legal. What I'm saying is power when yeah. you come into situations yeah. where you say, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. Yeah. In a positive way. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So 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 I like it, man. Hey, I look, like it. I, I like what I, I see. I told him yesterday. I said, man, you know what? Because when I was like, man, I said, boy, you ain't know uh, from the crib. I said, you can stand around three, four hours just doing nothing. What I had told you. I told him, I said, yeah. look here, man. I said, y'all got some hotels down there. I said, man, I might just pull up one weekend and just stay down Hang here. Hang out with you. And just, you know, get it on. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? that's what you're supposed to do, see the narrow. I mean, to be honest with you, light show, light show could have make some moves with we, me. We dealing with yeah. this music again. We might can use you down there in Mississippi. Hey, but we on a whole nother level, managing right. and yeah. trying to push, you know, get artists and they, together. And they got but a he lot. He hard too, though. Yeah, but I ain't, I, I'm, yeah. I, listen, listen, <laughs> man. 
We hustlers, man. Yeah. We yeah. bosses, man. Yeah. I'm ready to boss up. I'm going to leave that yeah. music to them That's young right. cats. That's right. That's what I did to them. I'm going to leave yeah. it to them. Yeah. That's we what got, I mean. And, I mean, and it's a lot of talent down there by yeah. my way, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying. They, just, they just, just ain't really got the outlets. But, yeah, I think but pulling sometimes them Sometimes you got to go find them outlets. You got to go. If you really want it, you got to go get that yourself. You but could. I think a lot of yeah. times they don't understand how to get to those outlets or either to do what you've already done. Well, you know what? Hopefully after this interview, Al, Hey, hey, man, y'all be like, you know what, bag man, I'm trying to kick the door in for all of us, man. Yeah. Because we need to move yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. You got to be able to jump. You got to be able to get out your comfort zone. Oh, yeah. And and I just appreciate you guys for coming on the show. Um, I'm going to rock with that brother over there, too. I ain't playing no game. Hey. Everybody forget up in here hey, and get that, a little piece of this hey. De Niro uh, 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 <laughs> interview. So I want to pull that brother up for, you know, before we get out of here because ain't no way I'm going to have him up here and not put him oh, on yeah. the show, bro. Hey, hey, you know that. what I'm saying? <laughs> Real talk. So 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 how you and this brother here, how y'all collabing and everything? Hey man, I'ma let him tell it. Yeah, he, don't don't lie, gonna, nigga. The people gonna hear you. Don't lie. <laughs> oh no, nah, we keep it one hundred oh, all the time. It's, it's gonna be to stay the game to be sold, not to be told. Hey, you so, did. So, so what's up with it, brother? First of all, inter- introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Jabari Gammy, <laughs> the CEO, Vice President of Better Life Care Repair and Education Services, and I also own J and J Enterprises. Also. The owner of the Gulf Coast pop up shops where we actually kind of met doing the pop up shop. Wow. So you do the pop up thing too? The pop up shop. We own them. We got a big expo going down. Um, shout out to Booge Obsession, JG 2020. Wow. Got a big pop up going down. And uh, June is 13th. It's going to be an expo for everybody that actually do braids, do hair. Uh, massage. And what this in Lyman, Mississippi? This is gonna be in Hasburg at the hub at the hub on Hardy Street. Okay. And I give you Hasburg information. Yes, okay, sir. yeah. So give me the information. Up, so your pop up shops go everywhere. We travel all over the country. Oh, okay. I mean, we a one man band. We travel. We meet people. We put small businesses on the platform so they can showcase their business. You know, wow. everybody that's working small business eventually that's gonna evolve to a big business. Wow. When you say you do pop up shops, what do you offer for? Um, like, say, if I wanted to come and do a pop up shop. You, I have to bring my own tables. I have to bring, or you supply everything. How does it work? Well, we have one fee where we supply everything. You pay one vendor fee. Just depends on what type of pop up shop it is. We provide table. We do breakfast. We do brunches. We do free champagne. We put everybody wow. in. Yeah, we do a wow. meet and greet the night before. Like all of our people come to town the night before the event. You need something and like that. We up have here. a meet and greet where everybody can kind of mingle. We can sip and trying to get to know each other. And the next day we get in the bag. Wow. Yeah, really. So, that's and that's cool. how you guys met. And that's how we actually met. You know what I'm saying? We met on some business and we talked it up, man. I just saw the dude was real talk. I, 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 his personality, man, really just appealed to me. His grind, his grit, his hustle, and the way he put his words together. And when we walk in any building, any place we go, the brand bag runner is going to be known all over the world because once they put it up, once they put it out, everybody buying it. Wow. Wow. That's that's what's up, man. Oh, told you, man. Them, them pop-up shots, man, I... Because, like I say, it's a part of the me. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing like having a good time smiling and getting money at the same time. Yeah. See, usually what, what I, when I think of pop-up shop, I'm thinking you just go to somebody's shop and pop up there and sell some clothes. But what you guys are talking about literally is something where y'all bring a whole bunch of people to something like a venue mm-hmm. and all of y'all sit, you just set up to sell. Yeah. That, I wish am I right? I wish yeah, I could come down. Right. I wish right. I could come down April the 18th, man. April the 18th is going to be Sunday, April the 18th. What are we doing? Oh, we got the 17th. I know we got a we got an interview. Yeah, mm. yeah we got an interview yeah. 17th. Man, I got a pop up shop. After I leave here, I got a pop up shop every weekend this month. Really? Yeah, I'm booked up and trying to book May on up. You know wow, what I'm man, that's hot. That, and that's, that's what good. that's good, real good. When you say every I, weekend, I that's Saturday and Sunday, and you know, or is it just Saturdays? Saturdays and Sundays. But you know what, man? Now, like I said, I'm starting to see the motion in my movement because. I remember I used to have to ask to be a part of them. Now I get so many invites, I have to pick and choose which, which one Which one you want. go to. That's yep. favor. Yep. See, favor ain't fair. No. No, favor ain't fair, man. And when you put God first, that's what happens. Oh, yeah. See, he amen. gets the glory before it all. Every time you, hey, listen, man, the foundation is God. The foundation See is what God. I'm saying? If, 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 you, if you build on that foundation, you got to be very careful how you build. Yes, because at the end of the day, you, you, the, the steps of a good man is ordered by God. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely correct. So, so there's there's where you start to grow and, and elevate and excel, is through having the right foundation. You guys, you guys are doing something great down there in Mississippi. Look like y'all linking up, and not just in law, but different places. Y'all going around touching and you know building relationships. Right. And another thing, 
this this everything we do has meaning behind it. You know, there's one one particular foundation that we all have to start from. And another thing that I offer is credit. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought of it. You said credit earlier. Credit. What what are you doing to help people that have bad credit issues? First of all, we're educating people about credit. You know, uh, our, our credit repair company, Better Life Credit Repair and Education Services, where we educate you on how to use your credit card. Wow. On uh, how to uh, actually uh, use your thirty percent utilization to boost your credit scores. We, wow. We're giving people, man opportunities to restart, rebuild their lives. Because one thing about credit, you can always rebuild and restore your credit. Uh, we got an anniversary coming up on May the 2nd, which will be a couple, well, next month. And we're going to do something real big for our clients, man. We had the cheapest prices in America. We helping people get in cars, getting financed for auto loans, man. We doing everything that we can. Um, we do AU trade lines. We do primary trade lines, man. We doing it all. How long you been doing it? Uh, May the 2nd would be uh, my anniversary. It would be one-year anniversary. Oh, wow. just one year? One okay. year, uh-huh. And uh, we're working on that right now, but it's, the, the, one the platform year, is it, huge. It's a great accomplishment. How long does it take to um, rebuild someone's credit? All depends on situation, typically. Uh, Say the worst-case scenario that you've seen so far. Worst-case scenario, it, it, it takes about six months to a year because what we do, uh, we give you the first round. We You only pay for one round. What we do is we give you the second, the third, and the fourth round for free. It takes about 45 days for uh, us to get some results in. If nothing comes off in that 45 days, we're going to give you a second for the, a second round. And it all goes to the last round until we get you completely clean. During the process, we're teaching you, we're teaching kids, we're teaching um, teenagers how to use credit cards. <clears throat> we're uh, making sure that once you get a credit card, a lot of people, a lot of times we're uneducated and misinformed about credit. Because if we wouldn't talk, they don't. They won't teach credit in schools. Uh, it's it's impossible for them to teach us credit mm-hmm. in schools. So we have to learn on the fly. And once you learn on the fly, you know it may it makes it a lot harder to you to develop the process of using uh, good credit because you can leverage your credit. You can get any bank loan you want. You can get any auto loan you want. You can purchase a house, and that's a way of good living. So that's the motto of our name: is Better Life Credit Repair and Education Services, where we make you a whole lot better than when you came into our program. If you follow our program step by step, within three to six months, you'll come out a different person. And that's guaranteed. Period. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I know a lot of people probably ask you, because I know how people are. There's like, if, if you're helping me to do my credit, what is your credit score? Right. My credit score, I have an 805, 750, oh, oh. and 791. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On the because, credit. you know, that's, that's, that's how people are like, how can you help me if your credit don't look, you know, good? But it wasn't like that over a year ago. I went through a little difficult situation that we okay. all go through. And uh, one morning I got up, uh, <clears throat> my uh, president or uh, vice president of Better Life Credit Repair, we had a conversation because I purchased some trade lines from a company and I never got the trade line. So I'm calling, calling, calling. I never got a phone call back. So I got up one morning, I prayed and asked God to lead me in the right path and help me to get to a position to where I can, uh, you know, take care of my life, start a whole new life. Uh, called in office one day, guy picked up the phone. I never heard his voice before, never met him a day in my life. We picked up the phone. He was like, hey, man, can I help you? I said, yeah, I'm calling, thinking, talking about a trade line that I purchased, and I never got him, and I want a full refund. And he was like, well, I don't know about that, but let me see what I can do. So conversation lasts for an hour and a half, man. Me and this guy talked about some personal life situation, the hustle and grind, some things that we went through, kind of had the same story, uh, ended up. About an hour and a half in conversation, he had a phone call. He's like, hold on for a minute, Jabari. It was his supervisor. She was asking him how his day was. So he told him, she told him that, uh, you know, everything's going good, but we have one problem. We had a, a person that's wanting to get 100% refund from a trade line he purchased that he never got. That led to a bun. I got my refund back. He asked me a day or two later, what if I asked you to go into business? He said, I had a vision to open up a credit repair company. The Lord led me to you. And I wow. said, if the Lord led you to me, I'm what are you in. waiting on? I'm all, I'm all in. Man, so gotta start up if now. the Lord led me to yeah. you, then what are we waiting on? Exactly. That is the most important thing. You know, the one thing I see that seasoned in your conversation it's is God. the fact that God is the one that you are moving with. And that's the crazy thing, because then the Lord led him to you and your beliefs in God was already there. Man. So there was nothing Yoked stopping up. that. You know what right. I mean? Exactly. That's a good thing. That's that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing, man. Um, So, man, you know, the thing I could say to you guys is, man, keep going. 
uh, Mississippi. You know, shout out Mississippi, baby. We love y'all. We love the fact that you guys came up to be on Boss Talk 101. Uh, don't let this be the last time. I think you guys are going to frequent the city. Y'all taking over the world. So at the end of the day, when you come through Dallas, you always invited to stop by Boss Talk 101. Man, appreciate, man, appreciate it. you. Thank man. you so Thank much you. for the opportunity. Say, man, it's a it's a very real situation when you're building relationships, right? Exactly. 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 That's yeah, price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, put, yeah, no, you, price you can't put no price. price on it. At the end of the day, it's very important that you take every opportunity to make sure you stand on the stage properly that God gives you to stand up. So, you see what I'm saying? You never like, know. You never we've know. always felt like everyone that come on our platform, God sent them. Yeah, to yeah, us. yeah. We've always felt that way. Yeah. That's how we all vibe together. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It got to be a vibe. It's a whole vibe. You know, Boss Talk ain't, ain't really, really, like I said, we started back up three months ago amazing talent that came through these these chairs right here. Mm -hmm. You know, we sit on this side and we look at people and we're utterly amazed at the things that we hear come through these microphones. You know, these people that we're we're dealing with is is, is definitely being sent here, God. I mean, definitely, like, ain't no doubt in my mind. And 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 and, and I think it's something special in and each and every one of them. And then we're not like um, salespeople that come in and to sell you something and you don't ever hear from them anymore. A lot of people who've came through this door, we still keep in contact. We yeah. still check upon them. They check yeah. upon us. They call. To be like, they you know, how's everything going? You know, how's your business going? Yeah. Just like we'll check upon you to make sure that yeah. you are progressing, you know, with your business and stuff like that. And you know what? When y'all said 14 years, that's why. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of yeah. what y'all doing, that's why. Yeah, yeah. We've been consistent. And we always try to look out for the people who God put in our life. Right. So it's a it's a it's a spiritual thing more than anything. Yeah, exactly. When you come in this whole realm, you it's something totally different going on. It's something that's gonna take you somewhere. Everybody that's that's listening at the at the sound of our voice, it can this is therapeutic to them, and they able to see that. Okay, so if C. De Niro did it, then I can do it. Right. You know what I mean? If what's your name? Jabbar. Jabbar. If Jabbar can do it. Jabari. Jabari or Jabbar? J A B O R Jabbar. Jabbar. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so if Jabbar can do it. Big J. Big yeah, J. yeah, Big J. That's what they call you. The then I can do it, you know. And and both of y'all said something that was so profound, the fact that you're leading in the things that you're doing. You're you're paving a way to provide a service to other people. And that's something that we have to do. We have to deal with the talents that we got. You got a talent. God might have gave you two. He might have gave you one or he might have gave you five. But the talent that he gave you, you got to use it wisely. Mm -hmm. You you got to take and use it and make it something. Right. You don't just hide your talent. Right. You, you you find a way to make your talent appreciate value. Mm -hmm. Make it an asset. You see what I'm saying? And you know that, speaking of asset, you know, uh, my grandsons has created their own clothing line called Visions. Okay, that's, shout out your grandson. Hey, shout you out to you Visions. Handling up what? on Visions. That's the other one that was on the tip of my tongue. That's the one that, that, that's the yeah, one you're trying to think of. Shout out Because I, I know I had mentioned the mother fellas, man, you know what I'm saying? But I said, it's somebody else I'm, I'm missing. missing. Yeah, yeah, I heard you say that. Five and six year old CEOs. Wow, that's what you I'm know what, man? They create their own t-shirts. Listen, man, hold up, bro. Don't just try to plug that in. Let me tell you something. Hold up, man. Hold up. Jabbar, hold up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your son, your, well, how old is he? My grandson's grandson. at five and six years five old. Five and six. Okay, if you bring him back to Dallas, my daughter, she got a program that runs out here called Youth Exclusive, where she interviewing young kids and people from different walks of life, and she basically talking with them over topics and over subjects just like yourself. She had a young girl on here about three weeks ago an that's an artist that was 12 years old. So we working over here. Young. Hey, you, you, you right in the right place. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Get him back and see what happened. Youth Exclusive going to give him an exclusive interview. Y'all invited. That's Bring the thing. kids on. Breaking generation of curses. That's right. Exactly. We, we we showing them early. Don't give up on us, bro. You don't know what God can do. Basically, black people on a whole nother level with a rise, man. It's so we, crazy because what did I show you the um, about that kid? He started in clothing, printing T-shirts, and he's a millionaire right oh, now. Oh, yeah, that kid, that dope, man. He making he's about, about 14 or 15 He's 14 now, or 15. He's a millionaire that's from the, from that's the one that said they retired all. Uh, his his mom. mom. That's right. Yes. That's right. And yes. his little brother, I'm and when he out of New Jersey or Philadelphia. Somewhere that's Man, and I'm like, oh my God. I think 14? it was out of Philly. Yeah. But the, but that's what I'm saying. This this stuff is happening. 
it, 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 the internet has changed the game. Yeah. People are seeing more things. We can pretty much capitalize on the fact that children's eyes are being opened to, and a lot of people be like, man, it's, I can't believe that they mm -hmm. letting the kids look at this and letting the kids look at that. But entrepreneurship is happening through our children as well. Right. You have to flip the coin and you, ha you can't look at the glass half empty. You have to look at it half full. Mm -hmm. It's all about perception. So, so basically, how are you going to scale on the fact of what your child is doing? Are you going to look at it in a way to make it something that, that's negative? Or are you going to bring the positive out like you just done? The fa and show them the positive way. Lead them in a positive way. That way they can scale as well. And the generational curse can be broken, as you spoke of. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for coming well, on I the show. I got one more question. Oh, about the music. <laughs> yes, gentlemen. Top three. I would you like get for both you, of them? yes. Because you're a music guy. I want to know. Okay. For both of y'all to give us your top three artists of all time. Dead, dead or alive. Or alive. Dead or alive. One at a time. You first. Pimp C. Oh, Play that's my point. Wait a minute. Who Wait a Pimp minute. C, who else? Pimp, Pimp C. Uh -huh. Pimp C. Play or fly. Pay up. Who is Play or fly? fly? From Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. I got to look him up. Still underground. Wow. Okay. One of the hardest lyrics. Pimp C, Play, Play or fly. fly. Wait a minute. What's the last one? I got to say Big Crit because I'm from Big Crit from Mississippi, man. Wow. It going down. That nigga had a hell of a top three. Y'all don't want to hear. Hey, man, that nigga said Pimp C. You niggas know. See, that's all you. you he, he's a Pimp C, UGK, all of that fan. Know like, what I'm talking like, about. Man, that nigga yeah. say know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> you like that nigga, don't you? Hey, man. Man, that nigga will fly, C. wasn't he, man? Man, fly. Say R.I.P. to the king, man. man. Pimp C in the building, man. Lovers of Pimp C in the building, man. Man, we, I just wonder what it'll be like, man, if, if he, he was still, still here. I guarantee yeah. some of this trash music won't Oh man, no, he it, it'll be here, but he'll just expose it. Yeah, in the same thing, he, that, he'll, he'll make them go. They'll go. They'll tighten gonna, it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he goes, it it's gonna be here. It was yeah. trash here when he was here. To be yeah. honest with you, but man, it just, he just exposed it. It, just, it. it just, man, it just wasn't nobody. Right? It just wasn't nobody like the pimp though, man. Mm. I try to tell you, I still, that. I still go watch that pimpulation DVD on all. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I, in my spare time, what I ain't got nothing to do, I'm always man. It's Texas, man. You said pimp C, nigga. All the ears in Texas stood up, nigga. Soldiers, man. So, so that boy there, I, I mean, I really think people don't realize the just of who he was. He created beats. He would he would hook hard. Nobody hook harder than Pimp C, man. That boy sang to you. You didn't know that, did you? You better go back and check. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what we rolled to all the way over here, that Texas music. Ooh, man. So so now, now we, so Jabbar, Jabbar, we about to go turn. in on you, Jabbar. Your turn. I love your pick three, man. Hey, appreciate it. Your man. top three is going to be hey, epic, and man. And it's from the heart, too. Already, man. Big Chris, shout out, baby. My top three will be Pimp C being number one, Jay-Z being number two, Jay-Z, and last but not least, Tupac Shakur. There he is on the wall right there behind you. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tupac, man, that's a that's a norm. Everybody say Tupac. Tupac. I love the fact because he, he did it. Than Biggie. You do. We have been getting Yeah, but we got Mike Jones. And Mike Jones said, said Biggie. Okay, and we set up all we and told up why. any genre too. We did say any genre, so you don't didn't have to just do rap, okay? Mm, right. Okay. Now, but, now but, you know but, now you know my being, being from Mississippi, you know I love me some Southern Soul. I see you, oh, Sir yeah. Charles or Sir Charles. Get at <laughs> me, man. Hey, that's my guy. Get at me, Sir Charles. Hey, that's my guy. Yeah, man. So so you telling me that 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 you like Sir Charles. Man, I I like all What do you like about Sir Charles? Man, Sir Charles been around for for a long time through he, he done got us through them cookouts and them and them party days, man. You know what I'm saying? And and some of that music, man, from back then they still playing. Ain't nothing like listening to Friday on a Friday. Ooh, you know he's singing saying? a little bit here. You seen that, didn't you? I seen it. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. We I had to it. blow it a little bit hey, look, here. I had to check it out, but man, you know that blues, man, it's just a big thing, man. I love them blues shows. Man, I went to my first one, man. I got turned out. Say, man, I got a live. We, we, we got we, we got a live situation going on with the Southern Soul uh situation and everything that's happening hey, with it. So. And you know what? And and be on the lookout for for seeing that blue bag run a tent being a vendor at some of these southern shows. Hey shows. man, I'm that, trying to that, break hey, yeah, hey. yeah. I'm promoters. I'm trying to break up into the market, so y'all need a vendor. Hey, I'm on Boss Talk 101. Ooh. Bag run apparel. Y'all need to get at me. Boss ASAP, Talk 101. Baby. Bag run apparel. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, thank you guys for coming man, all the way up here so from much. Mississippi, thank man. Thank you so much. Thank it's you, a thank blessing you. to be able to deal with some real stomp down cats who really came down through here and really showed us what being a real man, a brother, man, two brothers come through, real brothers just standing up, man, doing things in the community. Yeah. That's what Boss Talk love to look at, love to see, mm -hmm. want to show the other brothers so we, each one can teach one, yeah, man. Cause that's what that's all we want to do is the other brothers just follow suit. Yeah. Because once we, because the information, even though we ain't where we want to be, 
we still passing it back down. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like passing that baton on the track. You know what I'm Already, saying? Already, man. Thank you so much, man. Jabbar C, uh, C. De Niro, uh, bag runner. Real, real bag runners. You know what I'm saying? Them boy come through with the merch. I'ma say it again. Oh, I'ma have my shirt on, nigga. Master Stowe, holler at your boy. It's a unique hustle. <laughs> and we Boss out. Talk 101. Already. Oh,